admonishment for refusal to sing the new anthem as reps as actually dropped the bill. You know, a lot of times people are just looking out to just punish people, you know, diverting the attention of of the Nigerians away from the main thing to something that you know, doesn't really matter. But thank you. So I, I'm gonna really, really appreciate um uh, what's her name again? That woman that actually stopped at the uh, to make sure that she's standing against that bill proposal. Anyway, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajidin Abbas, has withdrawn the controversial counter so, uh, subversion bill 2024, which sought to criminalize the refusal to sing the Nigeria's reintroduced national anthem, Nigeria Be Healthy. The decision to revoke the bill was taken considering the widespread public outrage and heated opposition that followed its introduction. And of course, the bill, which had proposed a 10 year prison sentence and a 5 million naira fine for anyone found guilty of refusing to recite the newly uh, raised anthem, among other things, were set to go through its second reading before it withdrawal. But anyway, responding to the introduction of the counter subversion bill 2024 in the House of Representatives, the director of Amnesty International Nigeria, Isa Sanusi, said the bill was misplaced and ill timed. And he also directed Abbas to withdraw the bill, stating that it violates international human rights standards. Also, I just remember, <laughs> that also former Minister of Education, Obi, is equally tackled the speaker at Abbas, stating that the bill is an irrelevant bill. And she also reacted to the, uh, to the controversial bill on Twitter, describing the bill as a silly fight of fancy that further reveals how unserious and irrelevant the lawmakers are to the Nigerians' condition. Now, this is, uh, I won't say this is a good thing because for me, when I saw the bill, I was like, okay, I think they are not ready to take Nigerians serious. I'm, I will start with you this time around. Yes, it's, I know. Some people are seriously sad about this bill. <laughs> Draw, let's be honest about it. And while some people are actually happy because this is not even what they should be trying to do right now, and as regards Nigeria's condition, what's your thing? Right, I, I quite agree to the fact that the timing of changing the national anthem and the way um, they're going about it is a bit um, insensitive, but Nigerians are in pain mm -hmm. and then we are suffering a lot. So, um the timing for me is not probably the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, but however, I think we're getting something fundamental very wrong. Uh, our, our national orientation policy um, direction has gone more board. I remember Nigeria is about 60, what years old now? 60 something years old, right? Five. We're 64, 65, okay, oh. fine. When we, when we did the 25th, our silver jubilee celebration, mm -hmm. I remember so well then how, you know, I think it was doing early. And the national anthem was so strong. The, the theme song for that year uh, by Bongo Zigwe, you know, we sang it with so much passion. I remember back then it entered into my spirit, you know, from way back then in the 80s, you know, I got this glimpse of national representation because there was that organization that was very strong. Unfortunately, we have failed in that area because um, orientation, what I'm saying is the national anthem should have been a thing of treasure to the nation. That we're binding on all citizens. Mm -hmm. It's something we ought to celebrate. The idea of I have been, been uh, pessimistic about it, I want to take it, I want to take it, shouldn't have been arise in the first place. It should be a symbol of unity, symbol of strength, something you want to identify with and you're passionate about. So the idea of you are protesting under whatever guys, you want to identify with it, for me, it's, it's unpatriotic. There is no excuse for that. Mm -hmm. As much as I said earlier, the introduction of it and all of that is a bit insensitive to what they are going at this point in time. But if it's on the table, it's on the table. We should respect the nation by doing that. Now, let, 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 let me say this. There was this Ukrainian footballer, a young guy, who was just coming from the bench. But the first time he started for his, uh, for his team, for the nation, and he was to partake with the national anthem, he took that anthem crying. And after the game, he said he has always dreamed about starting for his national anthem to be part of the national anthem. That is our uh, uh, people orientation towards the national anthem. I remember to our Kano Wanko, we were in a one nation school and they, they, they misrepresented our national anthem. Kano Wanko broke out of the line and protested. That is not our national anthem. So the guy playing Barra had to take it over again. I was so proud of him mm. because that shows the extent 
it's based on our uh, uh, national anthem and on the nation. So we are most on one what the world uh, uh, you know happy whatever in order for the anthem. I when it was being when she was on the podium being receiving the gold medal, and she was in tears when national anthem was going on. It went viral. That is the spirit of national anthem. It's something that brings us together. We must value it. We must appreciate it, irrespective of what it is. Because you see, the thing is this: we are not happy Nigerians because it's happening happy Nigerians. No, we are Nigerians, right? Now we should be proud to be Nigerians. We can deal with our issues, but that should not affect our passion and our love for the nation. And if Nigeria is a symbol, are you in support of the second anthem that they are trying to propose? To me? I'm trying to get where you're coming. What I'm saying is this. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I prefer the second and third. You know, no, the second that was first before. <laughs> I'm not sure. So I'm, it's, I'm not too sure where I stand. Mm -hmm. What was the one? What, what was there before? Yeah, Change in it now. For me, it was just a, something we were just playing with, okay. right? But whichever way, whatever we agree with, that is now passed. Mm -hmm. That is now on the table. Let us respect it. Okay. And we should be patriotic about it. Okay. Thank you very much. I don't know the samples that you cited. Chris, I think as um, um, now the points, I think I wrote in completely in the 85 90 percent. Hmm. It was on this table we talked about it. It was on this table we agreed that. Do put the, the first that has become the second one hmm. and the former one that has become discarded now. Nothing is wrong with it. Absolutely. And what Nigerians want to put on the table? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And good governance. Mm -hmm. Let people see our leaders. He said something that threw me. It's an honor for your national item to resign and be. He gives you courage. I remember 1960. I was, uh, I think I was um, about eight years, or about old. Was I think I was eight years old. Give salute to the former um, um, premier of his son, which is like uh, Dr. Mawa, to receive to, to receive the salute. It was an honor, and the, it gives you the sense of belonging. Yeah, wearing a national item, seeing your flag, holding it, it gives you joy that you are actually in the you are proud of it. Just like when you are holding a national, I mean, our, our, um, what do you call a passport. Mm -hmm. But those things have been rubbish because of the bad leaders. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the first, the second, the second, and the third. There's nothing wrong about it. Mm -hmm. we, we, we are great here that uh, this is not what we need now. Changing it or not changing is not what we need now. Yeah. What we need now, put on the table. What we need now, Low cost of things. Big you, right. you, 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 you say you said you paid your your child is paid about five hundred or something thousand for your your university. Yeah. yeah, but it's not eight hundred plus. Fine. Mm. I just mentioned about my, my nephew that traveled last week, right? And uh, corruption everywhere. In those days, I didn't say there was no corruption, but it was not minimal. Mm -hmm. But now corruption has corruption, nepotism. So when is wickedness has rubbish the sense of this national act? Mm. Corruption, tribalism, discrimination has rubbish. And that is why those of us that have seen it, 60s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 90s, up to now, we weep that this is not the era we made. Exactly. We weep because exactly. it's not the era we are living for our yeah. grandchildren, great grandchildren. Who is happy? It's a situation where you are not an item. It will play. You stand at it, respect it. Yeah. You can't fault it when it is on uh, American nationalism. It's obviously. Everywhere. It costs your service. Cost for, I mean, I mean, whatever. So, but here now, see, even the national, uh, uh, national the when it is being played, some of them will be looking here and there. <laughs> I, I saw somebody, I don't want to make sure it's the money national um, item was playing, he was putting his hand in the pocket. That is not. It's not the truth that Maxim said here yeah, about uh, bad governors influencing or rather affecting uh, Nigerians' orientation and thinking towards the nation. Because to many Nigerians now, the national anthem, particularly this generation, yes, 
Not like that means absolutely nothing, nothing to, to them. them. Absolutely yeah. nothing. nothing. Does not does not register in their psyche. It means absolutely nothing to them. But in the eighties, you know, in the uh, in the okay eighties, it was not so. We have an opportunity, like uh, uh, Independence Day, we have to march and all of that. We not, in fact, but not the school be chosen. You know, in the early days, I was in primary school. Okay, a few were chosen, but if you are selected, that day is like Christmas to you. Yes. Because you're going to wear the uniform, you know, so we have to wear all of that. So it was everything. We grew up with that thinking. So if you belong to the nation, you know, the spirit is, you know, was high back then. So it meant a whole lot to us. Do you understand? An American, their attitude was the national anthem, you know, their orientation. So, permit me to say this. A friend of mine was traveling out of the U.S., okay? And then, uh, a seven-year-old boy, when his father was at the airport, the father was traveling, Amer American. And he said to his father, go out there and do American proud. A seven-year-old boy, he already understood the place of representation for the nation. Mm -hmm. It is orientation. So, I think our orientation need to uh, be uh, brought back to life because what we are talking about is part of the orientation, national orientation. You know, uh, Nigerians sinking with it. We must go back to that because now that it is with the of information, I think I think, think I want to I think I want to speak on behalf of the some Nigerians. So excuse me, Mazi. I think I want to speak on behalf of Nigerians. We are saying orientation and all of that. Like we have all said on this table, this is not the first thing we need. This is not the national anthem. I know in some secondary schools and some primary schools, you see the way these people. You even see a two year, three year, two years old child. You know, citing the national anthem where I know some adults cannot even cite it, and that's because if you check these adults, people are not even concerned about the national anthem, they just want to put food on their table. You can't tell them to go back to school and start learning how to read the national anthem because that's not their priority, right? And they memorize it, they are memorize it because where are they going to that you need to read the national? It's children that still need to learn this stuff. So, my only reason, the only reason why I'm bringing out this topic is because of the um, the point. They, they put behind if you are not going to sing or if you cannot or if you Have refuse. You the presentation say that she will sing the old one. Mm -hmm. That is the, the one that replaced the Yes, one. yes. He said, come and arrest me. Mm -hmm. Because there is no, uh, what I call it now, assuming we are, do you know we don't obey our laws? Mm. Is it in the National Assembly for, uh, in the US that National Assembly, uh, National Assembly will be we played? I will go the other way. I, is it where on earth will say I will not obey? It's authority, it's an instruction. Wherever you are, you have you stand at his respecting the honor. Do you understand me? Mm. Just like the flag. Right? Was it the same like the national flag that some people, some youths, we are holding at Lakey, whatever, and uh, they were molested. But the if, you, you if, if, you're, Mazi, if you're giving an example of the United States, they didn't change theirs just like that. But, 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 they listen to the people but, before but, they make some the changes. The foundation is key. The Bible said, the Holy Scripture said, if the foundation is faulty, what will the righteous do? So the children were bringing up now, eh? They now come to realize that that's not they can that's not for them for them. Like they can't believe them from that. That the system is faulty. Mm. What their politicians have no threats, they are even the economy. So it is faulty. And they will grow and they will pass it to their generation on board and live. So the issue is this. Patriotism is, is key. Mm. But then so you must leave I was from I one of the radio stations I said. A leader is a person who has followers. And you must lead by example. A leader is a person who goes in front and has followers, and they are watching the leader. The stage is stage. And one man was going, he was going from left to right, from right to left. The son has going to say, Papa, go straight because somebody saw through you. So if our leaders are not doing what the children, eh? So I'm going to copy. Mm. Then I tell them, do what, what I say, <laughs> not what I do. Yeah, please, let me, let me check yes, on this. Yes, as much as I quite agree to the fact that the national anthem changing of it or, or, or all the uh, drama around it is not a priority, sincerely speaking, it's not a priority because we are facing some reality that are very ugly, okay, and, and that is painful to us. I agree with that quite all right. But however, if the national anthem is on the table, 
we are bound to respect it. Mm -hmm. And then choosing not to respect it is, I'm trying to be sure about this word, it's criminal, sincerely speaking, because you are, it, it's, uh, it's impunity. That's the word. Mm -hmm. Because we cannot be selective of the laws we obey and the laws we reject. In as much as it has been enacted as the law of the land and you contravene it under any guise, protest or whatever, whatever, you are acting against national interests. Mm -hmm. And particularly if you are that kind of uh, a person with such status like Obi, actually it's really a very bad example, a mm -hmm. horrible example. If not for the fact that uh, uh, for of sensitivity, that okay, fine, is that what we're talking about now? People are hungry, blah 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 blah. Such a woman should be criminalized for that act, and I think the that's of work, uh, should just find the best time. I to I disagree with what you said, please. I disagree with what you said, but yeah, the matter of her, the matter of her, it's not only it's right, it's not only that some of the lawmakers stood against it, but it has been passed because you see that yes, I mean, the why the majority always have their way in democracy must. The most would have their say, they have their say, but the majority are taking, are, are taking the win. So let's respect it. It's not about you. It's about national respect. You can't do that as an American. You can't, you can't do it. So we should, about time we respect our nation, yes, our managers are not doing too well. We we fight them on one hand, but national symbols not be respected. Okay, well, they must be respected, but I will not say it's a criminal offense. That's what I will say. It can't be said. It's just being disobedient, and she probably has yeah. yeah. it. Maybe she wants to fight yeah. against it. So she she probably it could be revoked. It could be revoked. It's a possibility they could revoke it. Could do but in as much as on the table, yes. she should be binding on all. Yes, I know. You know I'm not undermining it. I'm not undermining it. I know that it will not happen. Mm. Like, the reactions of Nigeria, they say, it was speedily passed and signed yes. by president. They say, now, what can you use the self speed You know that thing? So, please, you see, I, I agree with you. It's a very dicey, it's a very dicey thing. It's not what we need. Yeah. To that point, yes. thing. But you know, all I'm just saying is, once it's on the table, we should be mature enough to respect national symbols. By acting silly, by acting like uh, I, I'm sure I remember, that is just being mature. I thought you were You know, you know the funniest thing is I've, I've seen some comment section where some people are like, "Okay, not a, a, a popular blogger has said, imagine if you know the old anthem comes back and everybody were rejoicing, forgetting. See, I understand it's a bit dicey. No matter how much you want to put it, if you take it to the bunch of the public, like you said, it's a speed. It's a speed. It's a protest. We are hungry. We are giving us. And we don't want this. Yeah. Public protest against no, I'm just trying to only. I'm only trying to get this. I'm only just. Yeah, I agree to what you're saying, but I'm only trying to um to sh take away from the the uh, part where you say it's a criminal offense. Because you have to respect national symbols. Okay. You have to. It's not. It's not a thing of choice. I was going to tell people. Have to respect. I was to tell people go and learn the national anthem. Yeah, because to respect. It is very necessary because even when they play the ball you know we are presented internationally they won't play the old one they will still yeah. play this new one nigeria we held these so do you do you also do you know how to sing the anthem now you know i was coming for this program and i took my son <laughs> and uh, <laughs> i think that's a good guy to do this stuff so i don't know how to sing this national anthem <laughs> Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Can anything oh. good come from that place? Look at the national assembly themselves. If they have the interest of the masses, some of the things they do, do they obey their laws? Do they obey it? Mm. So if they don't obey it, how do you expect, how do you expect the people to obey it? Okay. So they protested, right? Yeah. So leaders, leadership means service. Service, of course. Of course. You, are in the you are making sacrifice. We mm. didn't make sacrifice. They said they got uh, their salary. We are not in about their salary. <laughs> anyway, so, let's, we are yeah. about the <laughs> Manzi, let's move on to the next one. Manzi, 
everyone who's there. So anyone, anyways, please, adults, children, like I said, and this is live and direct, it's actually my um, nephew I saw that's just two years, and I was hearing him, even though he could not pronounce all the words well, Nigeria, we hear that, like, oh, wow. And here I am, still trying to, you know, read it off the, off the chat without even having to, off, basically off book, just to be able to get it right. Anyways, hopefully, I believe every adult, every children out there will learn this new anthem and make sure it's part and parcel of them. You don't need a punishment for you to do the right thing. And you don't need to be like who, um, your leaders, if you call them bad. And if you feel that they are actually tormenting you, you don't still need to be like them. You just have to do what is right for yourself.